In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an email with your Namecheap domain. So this is going to be a custom email which looks really professional with your domain, right? So you want to go to Namecheap, then go to your account which you've logged in, then head over to your dashboard. And once you're on your dashboard, go to your domain list. And from here, you can see the domains that you've bought and choose the domain that you want to create the custom email for. We're going to go with online how to guide dot click, then click manage. Now inside of the back end here, you want to go to private email. And then here you'll be able to set your email up. Now with Namecheap, you're going to get a free two month trial so we can start the free trial. And if you scroll down, you can see you've got the free trial selected and they have three different plans. You've got the starter plan, which is going to be one mailbox and five gigabyte of email, which to be honest, I recommend because you can just delete emails anyway. So I'd just go with the starter plan, click on get starter. You can see that's going to then renew at $14 a year. So click on get starter. Now you want to choose here, use a domain I own with Namecheap. Then it's going to show you all the domains you own. I'm going to choose again online how to guide dot click. Now we've got that selected. We can continue and then choose the number of mailboxes. We just want the one. We can then add that to cart. Okay, so I have a domain in my cart already, which I'm just going to delete. So now you can see we're on the starter email. We've got a two month free trial. We can change this to a year as well if we wanted to. And it's going to bill us at $14. Now, if we just want to take the free trial, just select two months here. I've made sure auto renew is turned off. But if you obviously want this to renew and you want to keep this, then turn it on. Confirm your order and then obviously check out your order details and click pay now. So after you've done that, it's then going to authorize that transaction. And there you go. Now what you can do, you can go ahead and create the mailbox. So click on create mailbox. And then if you scroll down, you can set everything up here. So assigned email storage. So this is going to be the maximum amount of storage that you assign. You can assign up to five gigabytes. So before you do all this, just click create mailbox. And then here is where you will choose your mailbox name. So Maybe I want Bradley at onlinehowtoguide.click. Up to you what you want. Obviously, choose whatever you need here. Then enter in a password and confirm that password. And here you can assign up to five gigabyte of storage. So I'm going to save these changes. OK, so now we've got five gigabytes assigned. We've got 200 megabyte of file storage. We've got our spam filter, which is default. I'll leave all of this default. Uh, you then want to go ahead and click done. And here you can see you've got your webmail icon. So now you can go to log into webmail and you would log in now with the email that you've just created. So mine was bradley at online how to guide dot click and then enter in your password here. And there you go. It's then going to log us in to the email. And just like that, you're now inside of the Namecheap email. And that's how you can create a email with your Namecheap domain.